Yeah, I think uh, going on the going on the road is the best thing for us right now. I mean, we're uh, obviously going on the road. You have to earn things a lot more. You know, you're playing in other teams' barns, and and you know they obviously have the home home ice advantage and, and have all that energy. So, I think it's gonna be good for us to get back to our fundamentals and the basics, and uh, you know, basically learn how to win again. Eric, when you look at how the last batch of games has gone. Credit to the other team, but has the Edmonton Oilers' toughest opponent been the Edmonton Oilers something? Yeah, no, we've uh, definitely not made it easy on ourselves. I mean, you look at last night, you know, we kept trying to, you know, come back and get back into the game and um, just kept, you know, having breakdowns and, and the games kept getting away from us. So it was uh, it's one of those things we need to basically lock lock it down in every facet of our game. Uh, Gord Downey, the passing of Gord Downey, uh, you put up something on social media. What, what kind of a... How much did the tragic hit mean to you kind of going up? Yeah, no, I mean, just like probably almost any other Canadian kid out there, I mean, love the hip. Uh, they're um, an iconic band. Gord is an iconic, you know, person in our country. And, uh, yeah, you know, he's going to be he's gonna be missed, but I think his, his journey was inspirational to many. So tied to hockey, too, eh? Like that yeah. music is in dressing rooms and arenas all over. Everywhere. Yeah, no, I mean, you, uh, you can, like you said, growing up as a, as a Canadian hockey kid, I mean, he's the hip were, you know, a part of that, part of that life. So it was uh, pretty special. It's a pretty sad day with his passing. Do you have a favorite song? No, honestly, I like all the songs. I love, I love all the hits.